Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. We are on our way to Mount Williams National Park and to the Stumpy Bay Campground number three. When we got here, all the roads had just been freshly graded. That is such a win for us. It's about five kilometers in off the bitumen. When we got to Campground 3, we were the only ones there. It's $13 per night for us to stay, plus our parks pass, which we have a yearly pass. You pay at campgrounds number one. Grab an envelope from the box, fill in your deets and put your cash in the envelope. Yes, bring cash and drop it in the slot. Pull off the tear off section and put it on your dashboard. Did the ranger come to check? Yes, he did. We are all sorted. Time for lunch and then we're off to the beach for a look. Picked a couple of spots for a fish and then we headed to get some water from the pump. So this is the water at the campsite. It's a bore water pump and it goes like this. But let me tell you, it stinks like rotten eggs. But it was a bit of fun all the same. I was a bit disappointed when we pulled in. Campground 1 has a beautiful new set of toilets. We got the dodgy ones. But when I opened up the door, I thought, oh, okay, that's not bad. You should never judge a book by its cover. Campground 3 is right on the water with a really nice beach. White sand and the salmon are running. Or so the bloke in Campground 1 reckons. The camp is fairly big and would hold about 10 to 15 campsites. It's pretty remote, so bring everything with you. There is internet and phone service, and the closest door is back at Gladstone. Let's go catch a fish. We'll try our little hearts out anyway. We fished till the sun went down, then we got gold. Not even a bite. Not used to this fishing, I've got sore arms. The beaches in Tassie are next level stunning. Where we come from, it's just dirty water. Here you can see the fish before you catch them. And the sand is so white it squeaks under your feet. It's so beautiful. Ed's still snoring so I'm grabbing some photos. And video for you guys. And then I'm going to fish till my arms actually do fall off. There are no people here. There must be fish out there somewhere. So I flicked and I flicked and I flicked. And I flicked and I flicked. And I flicked. Finally, old mates made an appearance. And then bang, I got one. Dinner is sorted. Fish tacos. Now if you don't know, this is how you fill it a fish. Here's a quick lesson. Grab a sharp, thin knife. At the head, pierce the skin just above the backbone. Then run your knife along the backbone to the tail. Next, cut around the gill plate. And then down to the tail just above the backbone. Be careful not to bust the stomach. Turn the fish around again. And then from the tail, slide your knife from the top to the bottom over the backbone to remove the fillet.
Once you've done this, flip her over and do it on the other side. And bam, two fillets. Then place the fillets on the table and holding the tail with one or two fingers, slide the knife from the front to remove the skin. These salmon have a heap of blood in them, so I trimmed them up a bit to cut it out. I gave them a light dusting with fish seasoning and pan fried it for lunch. Yum! Fresh fish tacos. The sunrises are just beautiful. I took my rod with me. You know when you do something really silly and you think, damn? Well, I caught another salmon whilst trying to hold the line and back up the beach to grab the GoPro so I could video the catch. I dropped it. Not happy, Jen. Today we're heading out to Eddie Stone Point Lighthouse. How cool are these herds of sheep? That's two lots we've passed now. Then we spotted this massive witch tail eagle. He's very lovely. How big is he? Just happy sitting there till we passed. I'm pretty sure he had his eye on the dead rabbit on the side of the road. It is blowing a gale. It's a nice lighthouse, not your normal white lighthouse. This one's made of sandstone. We had a snoop around. And there are also these little white cottages. It looks a lot like you can rent them as weekenders. And there's a boat ramp right there as well. Looks like someone had a cray pot set. Anyway, the sun is setting and it's time to head home. Such a pretty sunset. This morning we'll give you a quick rip round the other three campgrounds. Number one has some good sites for larger caravans. Lots of spots for vans and hybrids and campers with trees big enough to get in under for sun or out of if you need solar, and a good new toilet block, and this is where you pay for your camp fees. Number two had a super amount of trees. It's not good for large vehicles or caravans. Maybe tents, campers, Solar would be near impossible, and there's an older style toilet. Number four was a little camp and it had been broken into little areas, so you had your own space. 
maybe four or five sites. It was on the side of a lagoon. It did have an older style toilet. and a covered picnic area with gas barbecues and tables. It's moving day. We are all packed up. Keep it to the passenger. Watch the, there's a, can you see that stump? That's it, straight back now. Little bit passenger. Winning. I can't see the other side. But that'll do you from there if you can spin back round again. We good? You're going to have to watch this here. Do you, do you want me to get in or...? <laughs> you hit... No, you're, you're right. I think he's taken it to the beach. If you go driver side, oh yeah, that's better. Not one argument. Perfect, really? By Stumpy Campgrounds number three, you have been a blast. We are on our way to Derby today. Next week will be a treat. Derby has some great walks and waterfalls. Stay happy, be kind, love your life, and we will see you next Sunday at 6am. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the like button. Thanks a ton.